You know, at this point, I've been doing reviews on YouTube for almost two years now, turning two in September. But I've been doing gear reviews, specifically photography gear and editing gear, for almost eight years. I started around 2014. Let me tell you, one of the best things to experience is when you see that something you said actually made a difference to the next product that a brand will release. But I don't know, I might just be assuming, but recently I reviewed Huion's Giano tablet. It's a large Bluetooth tablet. And at the end of the article and also the video, I said that it still had so much space on the side panel where the buttons are that it could actually use one or two dials. And about a month after that, Huion sent me a message and they said that they're going to be sending another tablet. And here it is. If you can see it, it has one, two, two dials. In this video, let's check out the new Huion Inspiroid Dial 2. the first thing I noticed about the Inspiroid Dial 2. I really like the two-tone design. Now because I'm actually reviewing this ahead of the release date, I don't have all the information. In particular, I don't have the exact measurements. But this actually seems to be around a 13-inch diagonal size. But what I did get to measure was it has around an 11.6 by 6.5 working area. And it is also just 0.3 inches thick. I didn't really bother measure the weight because, I mean, it's a tablet and it doesn't really get so heavy. Now inside the box is also a USB-A to USB-C cable that you only really need for charging because this, of course, has Bluetooth 5.0. Now this also comes with the pen and it does look a bit different and they say that it has Pentec 3.0 which means that it's going to be more sensitive and more precise and it also comes of course with a pen stand that you can open to get the nibs or the extra nibs and we actually have five plastic nibs here and five extra felt nibs here, as well as that ring that you use to take out the nib from the pen. Now this tablet supposedly has an 18 hour battery life, so you don't really have to be bringing the cable everywhere you go unless maybe you're traveling for multiple days. Another thing I noticed is that it seems to have a rougher feel to it that somehow makes the interaction between the pen and the surface, especially with the felt nib, feel more paper-like. Now, of course, this also has 8192 different pressure levels as well as 5080 lines per inch resolution. And you can also use it with a tilt of plus or minus 60 degrees. Now, this is also compatible with Android phones and tablets as well, of course, as Windows and Mac. Now, when you press the power button, you will see the indicator light right here. And when that is lit up, then you are automatically connected if you have already connected or paired the tablet via Bluetooth. And I don't even have to show you that anymore because it's as easy as setting up a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, as you can see, we have the two dials here plus six additional customizable buttons right here. Now actually the more important part of this review is setting it up. Of course to be able to use this dial and to be able to customize this dial, you need to download the software or the driver and you can of course get that from the link down below and if you have already purchased the Huion Inspiroi Dial 2 then you already saw that on the manual. Now when we open the app that comes with the driver, we have a panel here for the pen tablet for the pen and for the store if you want to buy more accessories. Now, to be able to change the different dials and the different buttons, all you have to do is click. 
And as you can see, this one already says features, zoom in or out. Now you can actually click this to drop down the list and you will see the three features that you can jump back and forth to. What does that mean? It means that when you press the dial, you can actually switch to the next feature. This means that if I don't press the dial, you can actually use it as zoom in and zoom out. If I press the dial once, then it will be the brush size. And if I press it again, it will be scroll up and down. The same thing goes for the dial below. And of course, you can change that to many different things. For example, here I would want to set the feature one to the brush size. So what I have to do is just click that and also click this. Now I want to change feature number two. I can actually set that either to multimedia if I'm playing a song or if I want to change the volume or you can even change it to another keyboard shortcut depending on whether you're turning clockwise or counterclockwise. For example, it will have the same effect, but for example, I want this to be zoom in or zoom out, then I can click clockwise, then press control plus. And if I want to zoom out counterclockwise, then control minus. And that will actually also result to zooming in and zooming out. Now, if you have other shortcuts, then you can just press the shortcut whatsoever. Or you can, of course, turn it off. Personally, I would set the dial with zoom in and zoom out on the first and adjust the brush size on the second. At this point, I don't know what I want for the other functions because virtually this actually gives me six dials and that's a lot to work with. Now for the buttons, it's pretty much the same as the others. I would, you all, all you have to do is press and then type whatever shortcut you want to have. For example, I always put this as M for the marquee tool. The next one is J for the spot healing tool. Then W for the wand. Then, I don't know, something else. I would usually leave the second to the last as my undo shortcut and the last one I leave this for the space bar that will be to be able to navigate throughout the frame whenever I'm zoomed in now for the working area you can actually make the working area smaller depending on how much of the window you want the tablet to correspond to you can click here and actually get the different screen ratio or customize the area entirely. Now when we press the digital pen, you can also change the shortcut buttons here on the pen. And at the same time, you can change the sensitivity. I personally have never on purpose changed this because for what I do, which is retouching and editing photos, I don't really need that much precision, but of course, if you are, for example, a graphic artist or a digital artist, then definitely this will be something you would want to modify and customize to your liking. Now let's head on over to Photoshop. Okay, so let's check it out. This is Photoshop and we, of course, first want to test out the dial. Now, what I can say from the surface is that I kind of want a bit more grip because my hands are dry and it's not really giving so much friction, but maybe a bit of a more rubber-like texture would give it a better grip. But in any case, let's try the dial. Now this is supposed to zoom it in. There we go. And when you press the button, it switches to adjusting the brush size and it's increasing. So that's good. The other function is crawling up and down, so you can go up and down with this one. You can maybe set the other one to scrolling from side to side, but then again, what I do is I set this button to be the spacebar so that I can just drag and navigate through the screen. Now, for example, I want to remove some details here below. 
then we can press this button and what I can do is adjust the brush size depending on how much I want to change and of course use that to take out these bright I call them dangling modifiers because they can be quite distracting when there are bright things by the corner now let's navigate around. I want to zoom in a bit more. So it does kind of require a bit of memorization in terms of where you put everything as with, of course, any other tablet or any other editing console. I actually really like the new surface that has a bit more, a rougher surface actually makes it feel more like paper. Now again, I did not set this into what I would actually use except for the few things that I used to demonstrate. But generally what I love about these things is that you can customize them so much. And perhaps the best thing here is that aside from having two dials, you can actually switch it over to six different functions. And that's quite a lot considering. Now at first I actually thought that there are only six buttons, I might need more, but you know what? I would give up a few buttons for the dial and actually for two dials plus the three other functions that each dial can have. Overall, I really like it. I really like the fact that it's Bluetooth and it has its own battery. I love the two dials and again really the only thing I wish for in this device is perhaps more grip. Now I can probably get a sticker or something to put here just to make it stick a bit more to my fingers. But then again that's just nitpicking. I really love this new Inspiroi dial. And there we go. This is the new Huion Inspiroi Dial 2 and you can check it out on the link down below. Now if you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And of course, if you'd made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Of course, my name is Nico Valenzuela. I am a landscape and architectural photographer and this channel talks about landscape and architectural photography as well as the different gear and editing gear that we use. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do and click that notification bell while you're at it. Also, if you have any suggestions on more topics or if you have questions about other topics, leave them down below in the comment section. In any case, thank you for watching.